Hi, in the last video lesson, we have implemented the logout endpoint and we tested with Postman. So in this video lesson, I'm gonna teach you how to implement custom errors. I mean, we're gonna pass the error as middleware. Okay, so that we can have custom, I mean, uh, response customs i mean uh, json response okay so um you know that uh, we are using express as server and express has i mean uh, um how to handle custom errors so for example as you can see in the world so we have app that get okay so we have the forward slash and request response next and when we catch so as we are using i mean uh, uh, we are going to use I mean, async await. So here in the try catch block, so catch error and next, okay? So we will pass, I mean, this next, okay? To um, have our error. So for now, I'm gonna implement, I mean, a custom, I mean, a single user route. And now to try to get that single user with the wrong ID to see what we get. So without wasting time, Let's begin. Okay, in our code editor, let's implement I mean the single I mean user controller. Okay, and for now to save some time, I'm gonna copy this one and paste. So I wanna have a single I mean user. Okay, async request response next, and uh, I don't need this. Okay, and uh, I will have um, fine, um, fine by ID. Okay, and inside of it, I will have, I mean, uh, request that params that ID, like so. Response, I mean, if success 200. Okay, and now instead of sending this. Okay, I will send, uh, I mean, oops, I will send next, next, and this error, okay? Okay, so, um, like so, so, and now let's create the route, so we have the controller, and now let's create the route, okay, in our route, uh, okay, I will uh, get the single user controller in the, um, user controller okay and here i'm gonna copy one of these okay and this will be also a get so i will have user slash i mean colon id okay and here i will pass the single user okay so i think that's it so so our server is we started normally i mean no problem so and now let's test it with postman okay so in postman let's try to have i mean uh, the single user so for now let's add a no request i mean this will be a single single user and uh, i'm gonna copy a while just to save time okay copy and paste in here and API user because our endpoint is prefixed with API user slash I would have after this this the ID of the user that I wanna get but um, in sign up uh, I wanna copy this ID okay and in single user okay single user I'm gonna paste this ID okay and in body uh, wow and json like so and now let's give a try let's save the request okay and after that let's give a try so as you can see we have the single user okay but um what is if we're trying to find some one id or not well formatted user and as you can see, it return. I mean, uh, an HTML response. Okay, so we see the name is cast error. Okay, so cast uh, to object ID failed for value. Okay, so and now we don't wanna have this as uh, error. We wanna have JSON response. 
and we're gonna fix that so we're gonna implement custom errors okay so let's go in our code editor okay before creating our custom error middleware so you see here I mean uh, express give us this example but we're gonna use uh, our function so um, let's go back to our code editor and uh, so um, okay what I'm gonna do I mean uh, okay I'm gonna have inside of backend a folder name I mean middleware okay like so inside middleware I wanna have uh, a file name I mean errors I mean I could say error.js okay so now um, so what I wanna do um, cons error you see it was named error handler okay and this will be this will be um, an our function okay so like so and inside we have our first okay our first we have request response and the next okay so what do we want to um, do okay um response when i would run response that i mean status okay for android i mean server error okay and we want to return i mean some json okay json in between okay success success false and we have error so um i mean uh, <clears throat> error will have i mean this error okay that message because we have property name message okay so like so and after that if we want to use uh, this we want to export this module module that exports okay equal the name of the module like so okay so and now we're gonna use uh, i mean uh, this uh, custom error in our app okay okay and now in our main app so let's require error and learn error and and learn so equal require okay like so and uh, have it in middleware okay so um in the world in the world and we have the error okay like so and to use so we're gonna pass this error as middleware but to use it we have to pass it here after i mean the the the, the words okay so okay let's add a comment uh, i mean uh, error middleware okay like so and uh, app that use okay like so and we pass the error middleware like so and now i'm gonna give a try in postman okay so in our postman so let's give a try with the same endpoint okay so uh, as you can see we have uh, the wisp the json response okay for this id that uh, uh, we don't have in the database in the mongodb database so that's it guys so if you like this video please a thumbs up and as a reminder each time you like this video you comment this video okay youtube will suggest others person and um by the same time you encourage me to do more videos okay so if you have comments so please use the comment sections uh, section below and um, in the next tutorial video we're gonna continue with this I mean custom error
Okay, so uh, from now, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Tutorial. Bye bye.